working on the flatbed trailer today and uh, I've come across a situation here where I have these 3 8 triangles and they're really heavy duty extra weight that I don't need so I'm gonna blow holes in each one of those give it a little uh, decoration and also it will be a place I can hook a strap to or put a chain through and lighten the trailer up so we're gonna cut all those out looks like there's I don't know 12 on each side so gonna be some uh, hole cut What are you doing, sheep dogs? You sheep dogs? Shop dog. They're not shop. shop dogs, they're sheep dogs. What do you got, Ren? You got some friends? Come here. Come here. Hey, you. This is Onyx. <laughs> this is Onyx, the the unattentive Aussie. <laughs> Makes Ren jealous. Makes Ren jealous. Oh, Randy. Hey butthead yeah you mm. all right let's see how trained all of you are hey yeah let's see who sit. let's see who behaves sit Rin, sit good girl oh this is like down oh i'm too old for that i'm too old for this crap Rin, down down not even sure if Rin knows i don't name. think she knows <laughs> oz is 13 year old chihuahua he is king of the castle here <laughs> hi buddy he's like i am the biggest man in the house get him oz my brat daughter brought her dogs over to help build the trailer come on come on we're gaining we're waiting on brakes we got tires now so i don't know Maybe uh, later this week we'll have it hitched up to this. So we're working on wiring right now. Oh, my brain hurts from the wiring. Working on widening the seat. Yeah, more wiring, more wiring, more wiring. Yes, more wiring. Got the dash going on. Temperature gauge all back and redone. So, with good luck, later this week we'll have it hitched up to the trailer and be loading some cars on it to test it. Alrighty, we got a mess going on here now. Starting the wiring on the uh, mini semi truck. It's pretty much a thankless job for sure. Got the air conditioning in, I got the dash in. It's looking really good. We've got an air compressor hooked up. We're gonna turn on a time lapse here and actually watch this thing and see if it'll air up, see if our air system works correctly. So, flip the uh, ignition switch. Oh yeah, looks like it's coming up already. Shouldn't take but 10 to 15 pounds bring it up but we'll see how see how bad our leaks are. And well just like that we got no leaks. Got our air tank under here, our compressors back over there. We have a red line going to supply up front we have our two control lines coming back and then this is our this line here's our auto suspension level valve which is just a semi truck suspension leveling valve attached to the center controls all four of these airbags we're going to put a pressure regulator on the rear though so we can turn it down put more pressure on the forward axle so that we have basically better traction because I know 600 horsepower and basically driving just the front on the highway, it's going to wear them front drivers out pretty hard. So we'll put a little more weight on that axle just so that it gets better traction. 
time to get back on this. I've got a horn button to wire. Um, I got a couple more little switches to put in. I got the tail lights to wire, air conditioning control switches. And then up here to the headlights, I have all the headlight wiring to do still. So the whole front of this still needs to be wired. I do have the alternator wired and it does charge. So time to get back on. So this is an old set of parabeam headlights. Can't read that, but anyway. Um, they're a little skunky, a little bit yellow. They had 12 volt bulbs in them, which is, I don't think they're original, but they're kind of cool. I hooked one up and they're really bright. I'll show you what we got here. So this is the original bulb that came out it's 12 volt we're going to put a dual filament in there but what i'm working on here is actually uh cleaning these dishes up so these dishes are reflectors i should call them um they're nickel plated and uh basically it's a process right before chroming but uh, back in the day, they would just nickel plate everything. So what I'm doing is just using Mother's polish, and I'm just removing the film and the buildup on there and shining them up a little, getting some of the scratches out of them so that they'll actually reflect the light and be nice and bright. So we'll get them polished up and then I'll show you what they look like. So if you look up in here, it's pretty dingy. And you look at where I've polished, I've actually got, you know, I've got some spots in there. Those will never come out. But uh, for the most part, this will all come out. We are making progress on the lights. So what I do here, I just buy these real high energy bulbs. I don't know, I threw the package in the trash. Sylvania, I think is what they are. The big fat tab goes to the top, and then I usually just junkyard connectors, and then I use aluminum tape to tape them in, but uh, you cut a one inch hole in your reflector, and it just pops right in there, and aluminum tape it in. Works pretty good, never had any problem with it. This little thing right here is my flasher, and that is an amber LED that will be internal on the headlight. So left and right, let's get these things put in. Well, she's looking good. We'll give you a little demo here. So basically that LED flashes and lights the reflector up. And that's my turn signal. Here, it's looking good. Got our air system checked out. It's holding. My flasher's kind of having a little problem. It doesn't know if it wants to work or not half the time. I got a new one coming. That part's working. Emergencies. I think it might, might just not have enough load on it. So with the trailer on it, obviously there'll be enough lights. These LEDs, they don't pull enough load. Nah, it gets hot and then it starts to wig out. So yeah, it's definitely having a problem. We'll get a new one coming. Me and Ren, we're just here getting ready for the off-road wrecker games got a question for y'all I have a trailer I could tow this thing to the wrecker games or do you think I should drive it put in the comments down below let me know what you think also get your tickets 9th 10th and 11th go to mattsoffroadadventures.com and check it out see you there time for a little yard rearranging
then we're gonna move the trailer and see if we can get the mini semi truck out of the shop get it hooked up onto the trailer as my forklift rolls away Okay, it's hauled its first car for me, this dune buggy. Yeah, we can definitely fit three of those on there. All righty. See if we can get this thing locked and loaded. Well, if that latched, I guess it loads just like a big old semi truck. Look at my measurements, that was so perfect. That's awesome. I like it. Let's get under there and look and see how she latched. See how that king latched. Whoops, just broke that. Oh yeah, I like that. I don't know what that was. That was our tripod, guys blew it up it just blew up get this thing out on the street and see how she looks all righty so we got the trailer hooked up we got gopros on i got kieran here to help me record this is going to be the first drive for the little truck and the first tow for the trailer so we may need camel towing by the time we get done yeah i mean just just by looking at this i'm a little nervous okay I don't even know how to get in this thing. Let's see how she rolls, old trucker. Oh, I think I want to put my window down. I want to put my window down now. It's my window rollers. Because my window rollers on my door handle. A Raider. Door handle. What suit is this out of? Ah, uh, like a caravan.
do is roll the windows up in case it rains. Get some interior in this old girl. We got the interior left to do. We got to widen the seat, headliner, carpet, but the wiring is 90%. I still have to wire the trailer. Whoops. Didn't close it hard enough. It's not how hard you shut it, it's how you shut it hard. like a few days ago and the wind kicked up and rinsed the roof off. What happens around here? You just want to be careful where you stand. <laughs> Trying to make these things work. Hi, you come to help? Did you come to help? I should be taking my parts. Think she'll fetch it? No. Ren, go get it. Right here. <laughs> such a butthead. She is such a butthead. I told her she wouldn't do it. I lost that bad, huh? Yep. Lost that bad. Here, there's just some trash. That's trash. You can pick all those up over there too. Camera people aren't supposed to work like this. Oh yes, they are. Like... Oh yeah. Yep. Both of them. Just, just the one. Just the one on this side, though, too. Not both of them work on this side, either. Well, but one light's burned out, and then this one, the ground wire's not hooked up, so. Yeah, the right inside here. one worked yeah. on this one. So if I ground this, this one should work. Oh, yeah, there you go. Freaking. There you go. So I just got to hook up that ground and hook one tail light wire up and then replace them all. And then the lights will be done. Clearance lights. We have all of them. Both of these work if that one was grounded, yeah. Um, I don't think that one's working now. This, this whole side is though. This one's not working. So what I have to do is I have to have this little brown wire right here to my little mechanism. I hate these things. Everybody hates these things, but they're the best thing we have to connect wires. should kick on to tail. That one did. That one did not, because it don't have ground. Or it just don't work, but this one's working and this one's working, so we can put this back in. All that 
that goes in there so it can corrode for the next time that we don't need it to work. And these lights just don't go back into these old hard grommets. So yeah, I just got to ground this one and then put it back in. But we have all the rest of the tail lights and running lights. I think we'll call that good. It's ready to go to uh, a car show near you. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for the mini semi truck. Thanks for watching.